Hi there, it's Psychic Cynthia here, and welcome back to a, another day in paradise. <laughs> welcome, welcome fellow spiritual psychic travelers and seekers of the higher cosmic way. Lately I've been noticing there's a theme that's been coming up with clients and students and just friends. We've been talking, colleagues, uh, and it's this theme in this year and a little bit last year too. We're feeling led to show up more in our lives. Have you been feeling led to show up more? I, I hear people saying to me that they want to show up more as teachers. They want to show up more as healers. They just want to show up more and bring more of their self forward and, and maybe get their work more out there. If you are, you know, on this path, any path of helping others, inspiring others, bringing creativity, art, light, spirituality to the world. So there's this, this impetus right now. And, and I think it's, Partly because of the astrology, which if you follow my forecast, you can kind of see more of that. But also, it's because of the times we're living in and, you know, some of the shadow times we've been through lately. You know, we definitely collectively have been going through a time of confronting the darkness. And what can bring forth this desire of wanting to shine more than having to confront the darkness? having to face one's fears head on and you know not just one's fears but collectively we've had to look at this shadow side the fearful side we've had to face you know the reality of death for example and so this is bringing up you know something new it, it's stirring up. it's an alchemical process it's stirring up you know our juices and wanting us all you know we are wanting to reach out more and I know I've been feeling it too. I mean, I've been feeling the urge to show up more, even more than I already am. Uh, maybe that's why I'm wearing this hat. No, really, because I'm cold. And I won't talk about the temperature. <laughs> I can't think about it when I'm filming outside, but I love to play in the snow. So it's, it's a mind thing. If you don't think about the temperature, you don't feel it as much. I'll just share that with you. I digress, though. So. Uh, so as we're showing up, you know, wanting to show up, how do you do that? Like, you know, I had a friend say to me, I want to show up more as a teacher. You know, I know I need to show up more as a teacher. But what does that mean? If you need to show up more, a lot of times you don't even know what it means to be that thing. So I would tell you what I would tell her and what I would tell myself on this. You know, if you're feeling the, the urge to show up more in a certain capacity, you know, say as a teacher, as a psychic, as a counselor, as an artist, as a musician, uh, as a business person, you know, as a leader, whatever it is, you know, you're feeling led to show up more as, as a parent, perhaps, as a partner. You know, the way we learn to show up more in a certain role is by showing up more in our own lives, in our own selves, being more authentic. And what I mean by that, I mean, well, that's exactly what I mean by that, but it's just on a day-by-day -day basis, moment by moment, you need to show up as you. Now, you're probably saying, well, Cynthia, who else am I showing up as? You'd be surprised. A lot of us are not showing up as ourselves in certain moments. You know, you might be showing up as who your parents told you you should be. You might be showing up as who society told you should be or who you think you should be because somebody else told you that. But who says? Don't show up like that just because somebody else told you or because you want to get their approval or you want to fit in. Show up like you. And so this means on a moment by moment basis, living life as much as possible uh, in a certain kind of congruency with who you are inside. I mean, a real simple example is if all your friends are wearing purple, but you don't like purple, then don't wear purple. Okay. You know, or if somebody told you you have to wear purple just to be spiritual, you don't have to. Now, I happen to love purple. Okay, so this is not a assault on purple, but it's just a simple example. You know, if you want to eat this certain kind of food and you feel led from inside to do that, then do it, right? I mean, the thing about being authentic and about being awakened and about being present is that this is a life that is inspired from the inside out. So you do what you do because your intuition is leading you, because your soul, because it is a good fit for you, not because somebody else told you it's what you should do. 
or because it'll keep you safe, um, or because, you know, it's what everybody's doing, or it's because what a good person does. And, and generally, I'm distrustful of anybody who tries to pressure other people to do things to be good. Actually, maybe I should just end that sentence there. I'm distrustful of anybody who tries to pressure people to do things, period. Okay. Uh, because I think that when something is right and true and pure, you don't have to pressure people to do it. You know, they'll find their own way to it. Now, granted, it may take longer, and, and I do understand. I mean, I'm a parent, and I think all parents, we know that conundrum of, like, you want your kids to do good and do right, right? And so sometimes you want to get in there and influence them. And I'm even talking about when they're adults, right? I mean, influence is one thing, but trying to push people and coerce them to, to be who they're not, to do what they really don't want to do on a soul level, on a deep level, I think that's just wrong. And even if it's not wrong, it's not wise. And it's not fruitful because it generally only breeds resentment between you and that person. And it's the same with yourself, dear one, with you. You know, if you're not showing up in life as you, if you're not doing what feels true with you, but instead you're you're doing the things because, you know, that's what others told you you should do somewhere along the line or that's what you've been taught to fit in, then that's not good. And by the way, you won't achieve success that way. I mean, you might get a certain level you won't really show up like if you want to show up as an individual here's a radical thought if you want to show up as an individual you have to show up as your individual self you have to show up as that individual you have no other choice and you know it's so refreshing to see people who show up I mean I don't care even if somebody that shows up in a, in a way that's very different if their beliefs are different than mine you know I can't stand it but I just can't help but be in awe and respect people who show up and live their truth. Um, and yes, speak your truth, but more importantly, live your truth. Don't do crap that goes against the grain of who you are, okay? I'm going to put it very simply, very bluntly. I'm showing up here now. I mean, many, many years ago, I quit my day job to become a professional psychic. I was a single mom with a small child and really no visible means of support besides this and you know everybody told me you have to go back to work you have to get a job and you better do that and I had friends that dumped me and boyfriends that dumped me and all that and you know but screw them okay <laughs> seriously I didn't cave into that and here's where I am today I'm able to make these videos for you I did not abandon my path I showed up and I just was myself okay now it's not always easy it was not easy for me, I want you to know. And that's that's a big, big thing there, a big example. So showing up doesn't have to start that big. Showing up can just be like, you're not going to go along with what everybody else says. Maybe showing up is going to be, you know, there's a conversation going on and people are being obnoxious and you're just going to leave that conversation. You don't have to make them wrong, okay? And that's the other thing. Sometimes people confuse showing up with making others wrong. Like, you have to take some kind of stand and tell everybody else how they're wrong. That's not true showing up. That's not coming into your uniqueness. Um, if you want to be, you know, showing up as a teacher, showing up as an artist, as a counselor, you know, as a person of, you know, uniqueness, uh, as a somebody who is shining a light in the world, just shine your light. Be the example, you know, and if there is a dispute or, you know, an issue that, you know, is debatable, if you're right about it, then time will prove that. You don't need to prove it. And you can't, by the way, you can't persuade somebody else. Uh, I couldn't persuade all those people back then that being a self-employed psychic was the right thing. I tried to talk to them, but after a while I realized you, you can't talk to somebody. You can't change their minds with words. You can change their minds by showing up. And... I did have the satisfaction a few years later of having <laughs> some of those people that had basically eliminated me from their life say, my God, you actually did it, Cynthia. I'm so sorry I was wrong. And that's very satisfying, I will say, but, but not nearly as satisfying as showing up, being successful, because who really cares what they think, okay? Who cares? And, and that's the other thing. Sometimes you will have to leave people behind 
that leave you behind because you're not being who they want you to be. And a lot of this is being activated right now with the astrology. So uh, don't be afraid if that's happening to you. If there are people that are leaving you behind because you don't, you know, act the way they want you to or do what you, what they want you to in life, that's okay. Because we're all here to follow our own path. Just make sure you're following your own path, damn it. That's what I'm saying. Okay, forgive the cursing, but for real, follow your own path, live it. And live life as you, not as just some robot that somebody told you you're supposed to be. That's showing up. Alrighty. Until next time, I'm sending you all many bright, snowy blessings. It is paradise in a way. Bye.